on the map. Does he have any mutas? Yes, he does. There's actually 13 mutas on the map right now. Gonna make their way across. Uh, they should be able to deny these Banshee as soon as possible, as soon as they get there. There we go. And Overseer is gonna be in position as well. And let me just take a quick look at the upgrades really quickly, guys. We do see that Beastie Cutie sitting on 1-1 for his bio units. Centrifugal hooks on the way for Monster. We also see the missile attacks level 2. And this is a great position for Monster. Monster sort of has the map control again, given the fact that he has these meters on the map. He's going to try to make his way into the natural expansion of BC Kitty. Going to be able to take a turret down. Uh, going to be able to do a little bit of damage here to the SCVs as well. A few SCVs are going to go down. Two additional meters on the way. More lanes on the way here for Monster. Six Marines as well in production. So BC Kitty playing this out rather well. Uh, defending as much as possible, but look at the supply count 179 supply for monster actually 183 right now compared to 120 of BCQD additional creep spread here being spread for the Zerg player 34 additional links on the way for monster uh, And the composition of beastie is not you know, it's scary But it's not so scary compared to what monster have monster has a bunch of links already on the map 110 links on the map right now for monster is gonna try to make his way into the third expansion of BCQD He is gonna get denied great great turret placement overall here from uh, our Terran player infestation pit on the way 26 banelings so monster just really wants to uh to bust this expansion as quickly as possible and mutas are actually oh, i don't want to lose so many mutas two three i think three mutas went there uh went down there to the marines of bc cutie but you know what monster he's playing a fantastic game he has the map control with the mutas he's making the great uh the best composition honestly against this marine tank uh is not so well against a very very high ling baneling as well as muta number now he is going to be able to go ahead and transition into some thors which are going to be phenomenal against these mutalisks of course once the thors hit the mutas mutas are pretty much they don't really do anything against thors unless they're like in low numbers where you can magic box them but it looks like monster might actually prepare for an attack 198 supply to 157 additional upgrades on the way for monster he's going to go ahead and get a few of these uh, a few of the upgrades we do see that there is the infestation pit on the way as well and it looks, it looks like the marines uh, not really getting the bed engagement right now. Banelings and Lings going to move into the third expansion, taking out so many units here of Beastie Cutie. Beastie Cutie losing a lot of units, but again, he did a great job of holding. He did a phenomenal split with his Marines. Behind this monster, just going to make 44 additional Lings. Beastie Cutie's expansions are still fairly safe. 126 supply for Beastie, 154 for Monster. The creep spread is just so impressive right now uh, for our Zerg opponent. Uh, 50 additional Lings on the way. I love the choice as well, going into Infestors, knowing that he's transitioning into Thor's. Uh, not really a mech transition, he is making siege tanks and thors, but at the same time, uh, monster behind this still making more lings, getting infestors, which are going to be great uh, against getting the fungals on these marines, uh, and really giving himself uh, so much more power with these ling banely composition. And BCQD now, uh, he needs to take a fourth. There is actually the fourth command center on its way, probably will be able to take this expansion here uh, rather soon. We also see a little bit of drop harassment on the way here for BCQD, making his way right uh, towards the right side of the map. And Monster might even want to take a fifth expansion himself. His economy is looking so healthy. 79 drones, a lot of minerals, a lot of gas as well. There we go. We were to see him spend so much more gas. Ultraless Cavern on the way. Uh, actually, a little bit of a drop here, a little bit of a nice drop here from BCQD. We'll deny that fifth expansion. Fifth expansion will be up. Uh, on its way rather quickly here from monster the, the drone actually just rebuilt the hatchery uh, but with that being said guys the command center actually beastie cutie wanting to double expand he knows he's down in expansions really needs to do something uh, as quickly as possible uh, and monster is just you know he's he has the control of the map and this is so important in this position uh, beastie cutie sort of playing defensive doesn't really have uh, so many options to go ahead and move across the map his army is getting rather scary a lot of marines, 55 marines, 6 tanks, and 2 thors, and BC Cutie might actually make his way across the map right now, uh, or might even just try to move to try to secure the expansion. Monster on top of this, bringing his links forward, he knows he can't have his opponent uh, take a very, very easy 4th expansion. There it is, probably going to be a planetary, there it is, planetary on its way for BC Cutie. Monster moving in, actually morphing in, 23 additional banelings right now for the Zerg player, 190 supply for Monster, 176 for BC Cutie. And uh, so far, man, I have to give a little bit of an advantage here for Monster. BCQD does have a fairly scary army, but the economy is way in the favor of our Zerg player right now. He might even just want to move forward for the kill. Interesting decision going for Ultras. And I love this choice because BCQD right now doesn't know the kind of tech that Monster is going for. If I take a quick look at his vision, he doesn't really see uh, the exact... Let me see. Okay, he sees the Infestation Pit, but I think there's going to be an engagement right now. Looks like Monster moving in so many Banelings and Lings, just blowing up on all these Marines. Monster getting the absolute better of that engagement right now. 126 supply down for BCQD. 178 for Monster, but actually 196, just as I say that. 
But the thing that's very important right now, guys, is this expansion is up for Beast Security. It is a planetary fortress. That is such a good decision to make this a planetary fortress. Don't want to be too greedy uh, in terms of getting it into an orbital. But ma man, map control is still in favor of Monster. Beast Security knows that, wow, look at all this creep, man. I got to clear this creep, getting as many scans as possible. Uh, we'll be able to eliminate some of these creep tumors here from a Zerg player. Five Ultras on the way, 16 additional links, more upgrades, getting his Ground Carapace level 3, as well as his uh, plating for his Ultralisks. And he's actually trying to make his way into the fifth expansion. I don't know if this is a good position for BC Cutie. It's such a small angle, although it will be good against defending against Lings. Uh, when you have Infestors and Lings, there we go. It looks like the Infestors and Lings are actually going to move forward. Might want to get a nice fungal. One fungal goes off. Coming in from multiple angles is going to be Monster. He's going to be able to clean this up rather easily. Great use of these Lings and Infestors from the Zerg player. More Ultras on the way. How many Ultras does he have? He has six Ultras. Oh my god, this guy is going to be up to ten Ultras here very soon. Ultras are pretty good uh, against Terran, especially the composition that BCQD is going for. Going very Siege Tank Marine. Uh, it's going to be a good, again, in BCQD, again, using as many scans as possible, trying to clear this creep, uh, making his Zerg opponent really, really much less mobile uh, when there is no creep. And this is something that you have to do. Very, very smart play here from BCQD. Uh, and he's, he's sort of getting back in this. He's down in supply, but he's also going to be able to take this lower expansion. We'll want to transfer some SCVs here rather quickly. Uh, but these Marines pretty much did their work, denying all this creep behind this. Six Lings on the way from Monster. Monster has such a scary army, and I just don't know if Beastie Cutie is going to be able to do anything against this. That is a lot of Lings, Ultras, and Banelings, and Infestors. That is just like the craziest unit composition here from Monster. And I don't know if Beastie Cutie is, expect is expecting any kind of Broodlord switch, but here we go. It looks like Monster going to move into the fourth expansion of Beastie Cutie. Uh, Planetary Fortress is going to help, but the Banelings are not really exploding on the Marines. Looks like there we go. A few Marines going to go down. Siege tanks going down. Beastie Cutie all the way down to 102 supply. Uh, trying to make as many as possible. Greater Spur on its way. GG gets called by Beastie Cutie. What a phenomenal game number one, guys, in this best of seven. That's, that was such a great game from MVP Monster. Uh, played it really well. Really went for the Ling and Fester Baneling composition, which was phenomenal. Beastie Cutie wasn't really ready for it. He was still uh, rather on Siege Tank. Marine and you know sort of mixed in a few Thors. Of course, for Thors are phenomenal as well uh, against uh, against the uh, the Mutalisks. But game number one is going to go for MVP Monster. This is the best of seven, so he does have three additional games to win. Uh, and we're going to get into game number two, guys, in just a minute. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Let's let's go ahead and change the song. This is like Japantown. Uh, so game number two is actually going to be uh, on Antigua Shipyard. I'm just going to go ahead and load the map. Let me go ahead and find some music to play. Meanwhile, uh, let's let's go ahead and play the one I played earlier. Where did it go? Where did you go? Oh. Okay, game number two, Beastie Cutie against MVP. Okay, there we go. So we're going to be back, guys. Game number two, just give me a minute. It's going to be on GSL Antigua Shipyard between the Beastie Cutie and MVP Monster. Don't go anywhere.
Alright guys, looks like our players are ready. Game number two between BCQD and MVP Monster. He is currently up 1-0 in this best of seven series. We are getting into game number two, guys. GSL Antigua Shipyard. It's going to be fun. Alright guys, let's try this again. Game number two between Beastie Cutie and MVP Monster coming at you here on GSL Antigua Shipyard. Game two, man. This is gonna be uh it's gonna be close to call. I don't know who's gonna win it, but I'm gonna root for Beastie Cutie. That way we have an additional game. Alright, let's go ahead and introduce our players. In the left position here on GSL, or MLG Antigua Shipyard, I guess you can call it. We do have our Blue Terran player. He's going to be Empire Beastie Cutie. And on the other side of the map, playing as the Pink Zerg, we're going to have MVP Monster. Currently, MVP Monster is up 1-0 and in this Best of 7 series. Great, great game number one here from the Zerg player. Uh, played it rather beautifully. And you know, something that I want to mention, and that's, that's very, very important uh, for Zerg players to note, is in the ZVT matchup, you want to have as much creep spread as possible. Given the fact that Monster opened up with the four queen build, he gave himself, uh, you know, so much map control early on with the creep spread. He was able to see the army of Beastie Cutie moving out. Uh, he was able to react accordingly. He saw the Hellions, obviously, you know, ZVT, TVZ, uh, whichever way you want to call it. Hellions are pretty much the primary opening uh, from Terran players. He got the Roach Horn down, was immediately able to counter it. Got the third up rather quickly and just, you know, went into heavy macro mode. He had like 70 drones uh, by, by like the, I think like the 11 minute mark or something like that, which is crazy. But Beastie Cutie, you know, he played a great game as well. He just, he was sort of put in the defensive position. I would say Beastie Cutie's style in TVZ is a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more drop oriented. He was, he kind of was in a defensive position, uh, really trying to buy himself as much time to go ahead and expand all over the map as possible which it's something he did, but the composition, the marine tank uh, Thor composition is not really the best against the Ling Infester Ultra. I mean, Monster just had, he just had so many, so many different units. He just like opened the Zerg guidebook and just, okay, I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this. That's exactly what he did. But this is another game, guys. This is game number two. Let's go ahead and look a little bit about the openings from our players. Monster, again, looking like he's going to open up uh, with the 15 hatchery. Very, very standard. Uh, in this matchup, probably going to follow it up with a 16 pool. There's a pool on its way. I believe that was a 15 pool, actually, maybe a 16 pool. Uh, but BC Cutie, what is he going to do this time? He's going to grab gas a little bit earlier in this game. I like that option. So he's going to have uh, maybe, maybe going to go into Cloak Banshee, maybe going to open up again, similar to the Reactor Hellion build he did into game number one. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. I would not be surprised if he goes again into Hellions. Hellions are great in this matchup, but again, look, there's a bunker. There's a bunker in the position, uh, in the natural here of MVP Monster. I don't know if he sees this. Now, this is this is such intelligent play from Beastie Cutie. Monster has not scouted his opponent yet. Actually, he did. He kind of sees. He sees. Um, he sees this. He doesn't see gas. The gas is on the other side. So smart from Beastie Cutie. So Monster is gonna think this might be a two racks. He's gonna pull some drones off of the mineral line to be able to deal with this. Uh, Beastie Cutie actually sending a marine across the map. He's just like. He is playing such mind games right now on Monster. Monster's like, hey man, this is a two rex. Where's your other Marines? Making four lings, pulling drones. Doesn't see any kind of gas. Uh, and it's not his fault at all. Behind this, the factory's on its way for Beastie Cutie. Doing a little bit of cute micro here with the Marine. Uh, trying to take out a few of these drones. The bunker's going to complete. Uh, but I think Monster's going to have more than enough to deal with this. He does have four lings on the map.